Well, even though the government in Washington remains partially shut down on Padre Island, the shutdown has not stopped folks from enjoying the peace and quiet of the national seashore. Island Moon publisher Dale Rankin took a trip down the island to see what's happening there in this week's Island Report. While Padre Island National Seashore is officially closed, due to restrictions in the original deed for the land, it has to remain accessible to the public. So while the park is officially closed, the fun goes on. If you come this way now, you will pretty much have the beach to yourself, just you and the birds, and maybe a good book and some peace and quiet. A visitor marked the fortnight anniversary of the park shutdown with some scribbling in the sand. And even though the campground is shut down, a spot in the empty parking lot works fine for some folks. With the pavilion closed, this may be the only ranger you see. But that hasn't stopped visitors from coming in. Did you know the park was closed? We did. Um, it's better cared for than what you're hearing of, um, from Yosemite or, or maybe Yellowstone. At Bird Island Basin, World Winds windsurfing is closed for the season. But campers here are enjoying the weather, even if some of them were headed for South Padre Island and ended up on South Padre Island Drive instead. Have you been down here before? To North Padre, but not to South Padre. I'm a little bit lost trying to get my bearings. The boat ramps are open and a good spot for bird watchers where the winged winter Texans put on a show. What brings you guys down this way? Well, we go get away every, every winter, so we like Texas because we feel more welcome here than we do usually in other states we've been to. There's not much to eat unless you're a bird, but the good news is that when the politicians argue about who caused the shutdown, you can't hear them from here. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin, and we'll see you on the island.